Conservation has become important to us because one of us is related to Alison Reed. We've become more and more aware of the environment. We hope you enjoy our film. As you can see from this family tree, I am the great great niece of Alison Reed. Alison Reed was one of the last people to work with the Tasmanian Tigers at the Hobart Zoo. Alison liked to travel and she was one of the first Tasmanian people to travel to China in the 1960s. Even when she was 80 years old, she travelled to Africa to see the giant cats. I'm Alison Reed, it's 1922. I'm working at the Hobart Zoo. My father, Arthur Robert Reed, is a curator of the Hobart Zoo. He has to restock the zoo, take care of the animals and organise the animal zookeepers. My job is to help to look after the animals as well as our pets, Mark the leopard cub and Susie and Sammy the lion cubs. I'm lucky enough to work at the zoo with the last of the Tasmanian tigers. Zoos like Allison's in Hobart and around the world are very important for conservation. They raise animals so that they don't become extinct in the wild. They work hard to get animals back to their natural habitat so they can live where they belong. Conservation means to protect the environment and valued resources. It means we need to care for our plants, our animals and our land. It also means to protect them from change. In the past, it wasn't considered as important to conserve the environment. A famous example of this story is Ben, the last Tasmanian tiger. Benjamin was the very last Thysalian to be held in captive. Benjamin was named up by a particular person called Mr Frank Darby. Benjamin had a family consisting of a mother and three cubs, which were captured, captured by Walter Jack Mullins at Tiana, February 1924. The four Tasmanian tigers were transported to Hobart by train and sold for the price of £55. One of the babies died of kidney disease in 1930. The body was sold for five pounds at the museum. The next one, a male, died of pneumonia in 1935. The last cub, Ben, was the last Tasmanian tiger ever to be held in captivity. She had a record life of 12 years and 11 months. She died the 7th of September, 1936. Because Ben was the only one of her species left, she could not breed and so the Tasmanian tigers became extinct. If you were watching and you were wondering what you could do to help, here's some ideas. Does your school have a compost program? Why not help set one up? All you need to do is collect all the fruit and scraps and put them into a compost bin. What, and once they've turned into compost, you can spread them all over your garden. When you have any papers that are not wanted, find them near the recycling bin and put it in there. Even drink bottles, cans and juice box containers can be recycled. We're so lucky to live in Australia with all these beautiful beaches. As a kid, you can help for the future by all that you leave behind is your footprints. Kids can also help by planting native plants in their gardens. We all know that trees and plants help remove the carbon dioxide from the Earth's atmosphere. Now that you have watched our film, I hope you are more aware of the environment.